Behind me is the Cleveland Cliffs Middletown Works. It produces raw iron as well as finished steel products. Now, earlier this year, the company announced that it would be upgrading this facility to a more environmentally friendly process if it were awarded a $500 million grant from the Department of Energy. Here's a look at the facility, which employs more than 2,200 people from Skyview 12. Now, the ingredients for steel are iron, a refined version of coal known as coke, and limestone to remove impurities. The proposed green energy upgrade would swap the existing iron making process for one that produces much less greenhouse gas using natural gas and hydrogen instead of coke. Now, the total cost of the project is expected to be $1.6 billion. However, an article published by Politico quotes the company's CEO as saying, quote, he is still trying to figure out if the project even makes sense with the grants because the grant is $500 million, the entire project is $1.6 billion. He would still have to pony up $1.1 billion, Politico reporter Adam Coleman writes. The article says the CEO continued by saying, quote, he is not going to do the project if the government and the general public are not really supportive of that, end quote. That last part references the higher cost for the steel produced using these much more environmentally friendly processes. A spokeswoman for Cleveland Cliffs says that the company is actively working with the Department of Energy on the terms and conditions of that $500 million grant. She sent me a release which says in part, quote, the company remains fully committed toward the transformational project underway at its Middletown Works integrated facility. Goes on to say that Cliffs remains optimistic about receiving final approvals and proceeding with this carbon friendly and high return project, end quote. The spokeswoman has not responded to my questions regarding the quotes in the Politico article, only saying that it is misinformation. I have also reached out to the reporter with Politico, but so far he has not responded. Well, back to the project. The company says that there's enough space on site for it to construct this new facility without stopping the existing process. So the plant would remain operational until it was time to switch to the new technology. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.